With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the given question is an electric field is applied to a semiconductor and let the number of charge carriers be n. Okay. And the average drift velocity be v. Average drift speed be v. Okay. If the temperature is increased, then we have to select the correct options. And the given options are both AND and V will decrease. N will increase but V will decrease. V will increase but N will decrease and both AND and V will decrease. Okay. So, what I can say that if the temperature is increased, okay, then there will be more breaking of covalent bond. There will be more breaking of covalent bond. Okay. So, if more covalent bond breaks and <coughs> then the number of charge carriers are generated then more number of charge carriers are generated more number of charge carriers are generated due to more breaking of covalent bond okay so if the charge carriers are more then this led to the total increase in this leads to total increase in movement of total increase in moving charge carriers total increase in moving charge carriers okay so if the charge carriers or if the moving charge carriers increases then does their average drift speed will decrease okay average then their average drift speed which was given by v will decrease now this will decrease due to increasing probability of collision with the lattice atoms okay because the number of charge carriers are more therefore the probability of collision with the lattice atoms of the semiconductor increases therefore the average drift velocity decreases okay now since the number of charge carriers n will increase okay n will increase but the drift velocity v will decrease therefore the correct option is okay n will increase and v will decrease okay why n will increase because of more breaking of covalent bonds if temperature is increased there will be more breaking of covalent bond and then the number of charge carriers will increase now if the number of charge carrier will increase then the probability of collision with the lattice atoms will increase therefore average drift velocity will decrease so option 2 is correct option 1 3 and 4 are incorrect okay i hope you understood thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.